What's going on, fans? Time for another Out of This World story from our space. I, 26 male, think my wife, 25 male, is or was cheating on me with her cousin. Alright, it's a long one, so bear with me. This situation happened about two weeks ago, and I've gone from fully trusting her to deeply doubting her. My wife and I met when I was 19, and we fell in love quite quickly. She had a four-month-old child from a previous relationship, and that father hasn't been in the picture since I've known her. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a father. But I have a genetic disorder I don't wish to pass on, so adoption was just great with me. Anyhow, we've been just like your normal family every day since. We got married last year. She was never super close with her family, but she did have a pair of cousins she was always kind of close to, and I had lots of fun getting to know them, and they seemed like decent people. She did mention that one of them, Max we'll call him, had when they were like 12 and 13, tried to kiss her, but she ran off. I asked her if she ever told anyone, and she said she chalked it up to him being a stupid kid. We see him on Christmas every year, and he seems like a normal dude. I actually liked him as her family is a bunch of stuffed shirts, and he's down to earth. Recently, they've reconnected and gone to a few family functions. We own one car, and since I needed it for work, he'd pick her up and drive her to those things. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary about this. They are cousins, after all. Her behavior really didn't make any obvious changes. However, randomly, as I was watching TV one night, she came in and mentioned that I had friended a girl from my place of work. I accepted a friend request. We're a pretty open couple, and things don't usually offend us. For instance, she'll remark on an attractive guy and make some sort of lewd remark, and I think nothing of telling her this woman was the new office. She didn't accuse me of cheating, but it felt like she was about to, which has never happened before. The reason I mention this is because I've read cheaters accuse their partner as a projection or something. Anyway, these family outings were legit. The whole family posts pics on them on Facebook and the wife sends pics from the outings. There were two of these events and each time the wife came home and was like a robot. Sex seemed normal if not quieter than usual, but as she suffers from depression, she often gets cold every so often and when I asked her if she was doing alright, she chalked it up to that. Well, two weeks ago, she leaves for work and as it was my day off, I put it around the house, dropped the boy off at school and came home to check my email. On Facebook, I saw that I had a message from her cousin. He and I had recently discussed going out to see a farm team baseball game, and I thought he was getting back to me. The message reads, I'd like to see you on your knees. I was confused as hell, until I realized that my wife was still signed in, and it was her he was talking to. I wanted to kill him. I instantly rushed and read through their chat log, and it's filled with him creeping on her. And while she is saying things like, But I'm married, and No, I'm married. These read like very thin no's, like she is saying no because she has to, not because she wants to. I'm disgusted and absolutely floored about it, but since none of them mention anything happening yet and she is denying him albeit kindly, I can't exactly say she's cheating. Well, when she gets home and our son is put to bed, I confront her over the situation. She instantly breaks down into hysterics and tears, saying things like, I didn't do anything, I didn't know how to tell you, I was just hoping he stopped. Now, she and I both suffered childhood sexual abuse from family friends. We've both went to years of therapy for it, and for that reason, we have very good communication skills when it comes to comfort and boundaries and how to express ourselves about unwanted advances. I love her, and I wanted to believe her, and that he was just being a creep, but the way she didn't tell me and acted seemingly normal leads me to believe something else was going on. I told her that I believed her, and asked her if I could message him to tell him to back off and how disgusted I am that they are cousins or if she would prefer to tell him and handle it herself. She first expressed that she would tell him that I knew and not to call her, but her resolve cracked as she was confident this would just stop. I was furious about that, but didn't express it and told her that knowing she wasn't going to, I was going to give him a piece of my mind. This is my wife. If she's being harassed, I will end it. And if she's not being harassed, she's cheating on me, so I messaged him. He saw it, but made no reply. The wife says I should have let her handle the situation, and I told her there was no way I was going to keep quiet in the face of this. She seemed to understand and expressed in the end that I was probably right to confront him because she didn't know how. All seemed to return to normal, but three days later, I come home and she's crying. I ask her what's wrong and she said, It's Max. You should have let me handle it. I messaged him yesterday and he won't talk to me. We had the conversation again about me not sitting idly by when somebody is harassing my wife. She gave me a look. It wasn't much, and it was only for a second, 
but it gave me the impression that she didn't consider it harassment. We end the discussion in agreement that I handled it how any man would handle it. Two days later, I'm coming to bed late, like 2 a.m., as I was finishing up some work. I hear her on the phone with somebody kind of chuckling. This is not normal. Told me it was her mom and had something to do with our kid's birthday, which I didn't buy. But at this point, I've begun playing stupid so I can observe the situation from a place where she feels comfortable. The next day, she is crying again and at this point, I've really had it. She's been unstable for two weeks now. When I ask her if this is about Max again, she says she tried to call and apologize for not handling the situation herself and that he still isn't talking to her. I admit it. I snapped. I told her that either he was abusing her or she was cheating on me and I caught them. On the couch tonight, obviously. I wanted to believe her, but I'm not a moron. I'm essentially laying here with my finger on the button, waiting for some solid truth, because if this is what is feeling more and more like, I'm about to go 95,000 megaton nuclear on the both of them. Let's get into some comments. Trippin929 starts us off. I don't blame you for being suspicious. This is messed up, but at least you guys have tried to handle it through therapy. I'd keep researching, but at some point, if you have no evidence, then see what your wife was hoping would happen. Why does she feel the need to preserve the relationship with a creep? The OP responds with, We haven't gone to therapy for this. I mentioned that she and I were both abused as preteens in uninvolved scenarios. We both went through extensive therapy because of this and have talked about our abuse together and what steps and tools we got to move past and move on. I brought that up because we've never had trouble communicating when something is bothering us, which makes her inability to do so now suspicious to me. Big Rotten Tuna has the last comment before we move on with an update. With all due respect for both of you, it sounds like you are both handling this in a fairly dysfunctional way, possibly because of the past trauma you both suffered. I think some couples therapy could be extremely helpful to help you both sort out what you are feeling and how best to deal with it. That said, it does sound like she is not being completely honest with you. Instead of being sneaky, I would straight up admit that based on her behavior you do not trust her and demand to see her texts and phone log. You can let her know that if she refuses, you will assume the worst and talk to a lawyer about getting divorced. Alright enough comments, back to the updates. So I didn't sleep at all last night, and when she woke up, I made breakfast. I told her I shouldn't have blown up, and that we should probably sit down tonight and talk about things. She agreed like she wasn't even upset, to begin with, and said she knew she had probably been acting badly. I told her that that sort of harassment she was dealing with was infinitely more difficult because he is a member of the family. She just seemed to agree with me. I wasn't going to snoop, but so many people on here told me I ought to, and not wanting to be accused of not taking the advice I asked for, I decided to go through with and check her emails. With the way she was acting this morning, I had fewer reasons to be suspicious, but at this point, what the heck, and did just that. The level of disgust, hatred, and anger I feel cannot be expressed right, and there will be a divorce. There was one email entitled, Yummy, and upon opening it, I found a picture of her cousin with semen on his face. The back and forths are him describing to her his encounters with random gay men. They make reference to past sexual encounters they've had together, complete with one picture of a strap-on dildo captioned, I still have our old friend. Then I read some absolutely disgusting filth talk between them where she is behaving in a very dominating way and insulting his penis size. Looking at the dates, I realized that this was from a year ago. As I continue to read, I'm able to figure out, at least from how it reads, that they used to hook up frequently but stopped after we got married. We were together for several years before we got married. Later, she starts using the I'm married excuse, but it's reading like that's just a kink of his to be told he can't touch her anymore, which he probably does. I'm raising her freaking kid, and she does this to me? I've wasted the last six years changing my work schedule and not taking better paying jobs because I need hours where I'm able to watch him. I went outside and sat on the front porch, called my brother over, and after explaining to him the entire situation, asked him to take my gun from me for the time being. I'm not a violent person, I never have been, but in the state I'm in now, I'm fluctuating between wanting to kill him and wanting to kill myself. I'm not going to, but I feel like I'm headed for a breakdown and I can't trust I'll behave rationally. After this, I'm packing up my clothes and checking into a hotel. These conversations have all been printed. I've sent copies to myself, and when I have time, I'm digging for more dirt. Bought a pack of cigarettes. Stopped smoking four years ago. And joy I have to make an appointment at some STD clinic because according to these effing vile back and forths, a part of his thing is having unprotected sex with these men. My soon-to-be ex-wife has a device, and as such, I've never once in all these years worn protection with her. 
So now, I apparently have months of biting my freaking nails to look forward to, as I understand AIDS tests take months. I know his work schedule roughly, because I used to work for the same company he does. So maybe before checking in and composing myself, I'm just going to drive down to see his wife, evidence in hand. There's no fixing this. There's no therapy. No hope. Nothing positive, and I don't care to even entertain an apology. I'm divorcing the whore, and she will get nothing. I hate life right now. I don't feel depressed or sad. I haven't cried. I just have this hot ball of rage in my chest that the cigarettes only briefly cool. I can't be near her or him. I know I said I'm not violent, but man, I really want to beat the piss out of both of them. Alright, time for a couple quick community comments before we call it a day. Mega Medium says, Apart from the obvious DNA thing, this is why incest is illegal and largely considered to be abuse. It's possible that they've been carrying on a completely consensual affair for years, but it could also be that the family tie really Fs with their head, and she can't reconcile the cousin that she's been close with all her life with the man that also, at the very least, harasses her. You also mentioned that she wasn't close with the rest of her family when she was younger. That could be a factor, like she didn't receive a whole lot of familial affection growing up, so she put up with his creepy advances in exchange for having some sense of family. Obviously, I'm doing armchair psychology with only a few paragraphs of the story to go off of though. You're more familiar with the situation than any of us, so ultimately it's up to you what you think. What I'd suggest is to have a serious discussion about all of this without framing it as you accusing her of infidelity, even though that would be what you're looking to find out. If she's already in a lot of distress over the situation, which sounds likely, adding accusations won't help get to the bottom of it all. I'd recommend some form of therapy for her, or for you too, as a couple. The OP's response to close it out? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up in the morning, make some coffee, and let her know this has to be dealt with. I still don't know how it all got started. She talks like it came out of the blue, but their earliest contact is him offering oral sex, and I refuse to believe a man as seemingly normal as him would just start with that. I know creeps. I know how they behave. They usually try to ease into their game, not come at you full force out the gate. I don't know if it's a product of my paranoid brain looking to connect dots that aren't there, but I'm really starting to believe that they were involved and that she is upset because I broke them up. How the hell do I articulate that without making an accusation? She knows I love her. She knows she can trust me with anything. She knows I would do anything in my power to save her from being tormented. We've both explored the darkest corners of our abuse together. I know how she was abused in details I wish I didn't know, so it's not a matter of her not being able to trust me with darkness. The only conclusion I can come to knowing that is that she is committing incest and cheating on me. I feel like I'm suffocating the longer this goes on. 